And right now it is our top story because making headlines right now is a Deer Park father arrested for slapping his daughter's classmate. Now the boy, according to the father, was bullying his little girl. Dad is now charged with injury to a child and Janelle Bluta had a chance to speak with him and his daughter about what went down. Janelle. Well, that dad says he didn't intend to get physical with a boy and he does regret that. But what he doesn't regret is standing up for his daughter. 12 year old Presley Rigney says she was getting bullied. I was just minding my own business, not saying anything. And he had, ha had actually walked up to me and had said, like, you look like you're transgender and stuff and saying I have no chest. And the past few weeks at school have left her in tears before the bell rings. And he threw ice cream at me. Um, he actually flicked a spoonful of ice cream at me on my shirt and um, yeah, it was just very hurtful. She called her parents and told them what was happening. Her stepdad came to pick her up. I was like, okay, let's go home. And he goes, no, I want to have a word with them. A word was all it was supposed to be, but James Peace says it escalated. It might not even have gone as far as it did if he would have quit running his mouth. The criminal complaint says it happened here outside this home. The boy and a friend were walking home from school when confronted by Peace. All caught on camera, police say the video showed Peace slapping the 12 year old with such severity that it knocked his headphones out of his ears. I wish it would have gone differently. Uh, maybe I, I should have, you know, where is his parents at? You know, I probably should have walked him home and talked to his parents, but I just, I, I didn't like where his mouth was, was taking him and, and what he was saying. And if, like I said, if I wasn't intimidating him, what, what were they doing to her every day? He says he regrets getting physical, but for his daughter, he says the mugshot and permanent mark on his record are worth it. You know, I'm not going to walk around here and hurt no kids I never have before in my life. It's just I defend my kids, and if it was ever the same way, I would, I would probably, I would check my own kids in front of you if I needed to, right then and there. Well, the family says the one thing they have been surprised about is the outpouring of support that they've received online. We've tried reaching out to the family of the boy who was injured, but we have not yet heard back. Uh, Peace says he will deal with whatever consequences come his way. That punishment could mean up to five years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Jason. Thank you, Janelle.